this, this is what we're working with right now. This is the disaster before I fix my shelves. So if it looks like I have like a hurricane behind me while I'm filming, it's because I kind of do. <laughs> Let's jump right into it. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today I want to do a book chats. For those of you that don't know, I will leave the link up here, but book chats is basically where I sit down here and talk to you <laughs> without a script, without anything, but does things to do with books that have been gnawing at my noggin. And let me tell you, there has been a lot of stuff knowing on my noggin lately. I originally was going to take this week off of booktube because I've been having the worst migraines ever. Like, go to the hospital, think I'm dying migraines, those kind of migraines. But today I woke up and it was like, <laughs> Monica, you have the perfect opportunity to film a video because my student cancelled her class and I was already awake. So. Literally, I'm filming this on a Monday, and you're getting it on a Monday. And if I look like I'm sick, it's because I've had a headache that felt like somebody was lobotomizing me for three days. Anyway, going back to book chats. In this case, the issue that has been gnawing at my noggin has been understanding books or rather not um, understanding books and having that feel like you're not intelligent or like you don't know how to interpret books. This happens a lot on booktube where it's like I didn't get that book and then you see all of these people loving a book and you're just like I don't get it. And that can make you feel a little bit, I don't want to say stupid. <laughs> It makes me sometimes feel stupid that I just didn't understand what I was reading. You're going to see in my upcoming wrap up for the month that certain books just go over my head completely, completely. And I see people loving on them and I don't get it. I really don't get it. And that creates this discourse of, do I not get this book because I'm not well read enough? Do I not get this book because I am too stupid to get it? Do I need to reread this book? How do I explain to people how I feel about a book that is well loved or at least well regarded? This also really does happen with classics. How do you go about it saying, I didn't get it? And, and mind you, this is different from I didn't like it because you cannot get, you, you, I'm sorry, you can get a book, but at the same time not like it. That is different because that means that you have formed an opinion based on what you understood of what you read. But what happens when you just didn't understand it? Uh, this, this, this is difficult. This is difficult because I don't have an answer for you. Actually, I never have an answer when it comes to book chats. But I wonder how you feel about understanding books versus not understanding them. How do you feel when you don't understand a book? Because for me, it's kind of like a sobering experience. It's, sometimes it almost feels for me like, well, then maybe it's because you don't read enough or maybe it's because you stick to one thing or you don't pay enough attention or maybe if you hadn't read the audiobook and you have read the physical book it just there's my cat in the little box i'm not gonna cut it out there's just so much that goes on in my head and then of course i go online and i see rave reviews and i see this and then i start to wonder what's wrong with me that i don't understand and i don't think that that's okay i think sometimes just like liking a book, understanding a book has a lot to do not just with your educational or your intelligence level, which we're not even going to talk about the fact that intelligence levels don't fucking exist. No. But oftentimes there is this idea that if you didn't understand a book, especially if it's a classic, it's because you're not intelligent enough for it. 
And I'm here to call bullshit on that. I'm here to say that that's just plain simple bullshit. You can be, you can't have a doctorate. You can, you can be like, I don't know, the smartest person ever and still read a book and be like, what the fuck just happened? Maybe that was the author's intent. Maybe that wasn't the author's intent. Maybe the author was a little bit high on acid when he wrote the book, you know? And then there's this idea that just because you don't like something means you didn't get it. Like, for example, I have here a well-loved book that I mostly understood, but I didn't like, and that is The City We Became by N.K. Jemison. I didn't like this book. I mean, I, it's, I didn't hate it, but I also didn't love it. And then people, of course, come at me with, oh, it's just because you didn't understand the metaphors, or maybe it's because, I, I do explain that it's because that I have no love for New York. But, you know, it's not that I didn't get it, I just didn't like it. And you are allowed not to understand a book and not like it. And you're allowed not to understand a book and like it. And those things are not mutually exclusive. And just because you didn't understand a book doesn't mean that you're stupid. Or doesn't mean that you're not well read enough. That's something else that like boggles my mind. Like, oh, I don't... I seriously, I will be honest with you. You guys know that I don't like Frankenstein. I also don't get Frankenstein. I don't consider myself a stupid person. I just consider myself somebody who this book was not for. That, I always use the metaphor of clothes. That's like saying that because something doesn't fit me, it means that my body is wrong. No, it just means that this particular item was not made with me in mind. This particular book was not created for me. This particular book was not something that I liked or understood. And that doesn't make me any less intelligent. And I shouldn't be scared to voice that opinion in any way and have people mock me. Because, you know, people love to mock people when something is different about them. And if you didn't understand a book, like Shirley Jackson writes incredible books, but I don't blame anybody that read We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson and was like, what the fuck just happened? I didn't get it. When I read that book, I liked it and yet I didn't get it. I had to Wikipedia it. Like I had to look up things. Like I understood things that happened but the plot itself got lost for me because it's a really weird ass book and that is okay. That doesn't diminish my intelligence. And if you didn't get a book and you don't want to do the research on it, fuck it. Just fuck it. I mean, there's this whole thing with elitism in booktube and um, you either like read YA or you will read really weird books. Like there's just this stupidity. We can read different things, we can like different things, we can understand different things. And just because, for example, I didn't get Children of Time, like I got it, but I didn't get the shrew around it, doesn't make me any less of an SFF reader. We need to learn to be okay with what people like, with what they understand, and we don't need to be condescending about it. Like. If you didn't get my favorite book, like for example, my favorite book of, of all time at the moment is Born. I understand that people don't get that book. There is a flying two-story bear and a shape-shifting thing that is not a thing. It's, it's a blob that goes from plant to shape-shifter and like, like, inhales things it's weird as fuck it's okay if you didn't get it it's okay if you didn't like it i'm not gonna think less of you so let's not judge people for not getting books like again i think people forget that reading is a hobby because there is elitist thing with reading like you're supposed to be smarter because you read and i have some news for you that's not like that. And our concept of intelligence is skewed a lot by social economic standards. So, I didn't get Frankenstein. 
and that doesn't make me any less intelligent whatever book you didn't understand or that you gave up halfway through because you just didn't get it fuck it and i guess that's all i had to say for this video so thank you so much for watching and i leave you with a friendly reminder that i post every monday wednesdays and fridays and that i will see you in another galaxy far far away and remember if you don't get that reference that's fine too bye